As you might know, AI has been rapidly taking over the video editing scene. It makes editing your videos way easier and takes away a lot of time of manually crafting something that you and your audience are happy with. In this video, we'll be using a simple online video editor called Veed and I'm gonna show you four incredible AI features which you can use to make your next killer video in just a couple of minutes. And if you watch till the end, I have a really cool AI feature to announce, so stay tuned. All right, so let's get straight in. We just started a new project in Veed and I'm gonna showcase every single single feature one by one. So the first feature I want to cover is the AI subtitle generator. I'm going to show you how it works. So first thing I want to do is upload a video I want to add subtitles to. So I'm going to click on upload a file, select the video and click on open. All right. So after a moment, the video is imported and we can start creating subtitles. Now, as you might know, adding subtitles manually can be very time consuming and very annoying. However, in this case, we can do it automatically. So to make this happen, it's very easy. All you need to do is head over to subtitles in the left menu. Then we're going to select the auto subtitle option. Then you select the language you speak in your video. In this case, I speak English. And then all you need to do is click on create subtitles and watch the magic happen. And there you have it. So after a moment, the AI subtitle generator generated our subtitles automatically and we can start editing it. You can change the words in the subtitles. You can add new subtitle lines. You can split them or merge them. And a very cool additional AI feature. If you see a word in orange, the AI subtitle generator wasn't really sure if it heard a word correctly. You can easily change it or mark it as correct if it is in Indeed correct. Also in the bottom timeline menu, you can easily extend or shorten the subtitles or even retime them. And in the video canvas, you can reposition, resize and rotate your subtitles. Now, if you take a look at the subtitle menu tabs, you will see we're now under subtitles, but you will also see a couple of other really cool options. For instance, you can instantly translate your subtitles in different languages in just a click of a button. You can completely customize the style of your subtitles by adding amazing presets or changing the font, the sizing, the color, add effects. And and even add automatic animations to your subtitles by your choice. And lastly, under options, you can choose to download your subtitles as an SRT, VTT or text file. So you can, for instance, upload your subtitles to your YouTube videos as closed captions. However, of course, you can also choose to export, share and download your video with burned in subtitles. And for instance, upload them to your socials and show off your animated subtitles. All in all, an amazing AI feature. All right, so next AI feature, we all know how annoying background noise is in our videos. It might feel like you can toss away that video, but what if I told you you can remove the background noise in your video in just a click of a button? I just uploaded a video with background noise. Hey, how's it going everyone? Thank you so much for watching this video and I want to remove it. Well, to make this happen, simply head over to settings or you can click on the video file and scroll down in the menu. Then you will see the option clean audio and all you need to do is click on the clean audio button and now the AI tool will do its magic and remove your background noise. And after a moment, the AI feature removed our background noise and you can toggle it on and off so let's do a comparison hey how's it going everyone thank you so much for watching this video hey how's it going everyone thank you so much for watching this video so you don't need to be tech savvy or have an audio engineering diploma in just a click of a button the background noise is removed now for the third ai feature i'm gonna cover the background you see it a lot on tiktok and on youtube shorts people remove their backgrounds because they're explaining something and they showcase something in the back in the meantime well you probably guessed it but Vita has an option to automatically remove the background in just a click of a button it's very cool and very quick all you need to do is click on the video file and then in the edit video menu on the left Left, you will see the remove background option. So all we need to do to remove the background is click on the button and then it will automatically remove the background. All right, so it only took a couple of seconds and we automatically removed our background with the AI feature. So now you're free to fully edit the video the way you want. For instance, you can upload your own screenshots or pictures or videos into the editor and easily place and crop it behind your cutout. You can resize every single element in the video canvas, so feel free to experiment a little bit. Perhaps this is interesting to mention, but in this video, I'm talking about the Netherlands and why it's amazing and why you should visit it. So having something regarding the Netherlands in the back would be really appropriate. Instead of searching for potential copyrighted content online, in Veed's editor, there's a video and audio stock library in which you can search and select non-copyrighted footage to further spice up your video and add more context. This might be appropriate for you, so maybe something to consider. And last but not least, the AI feature, text-to-speech. This might be helpful if you don't want to use your own voice in your video or if you're making a Reddit text-to-speech video. All of a sudden, it became incredibly popular and it's very easy to do as well, especially in Veed's editor, which I'm gonna show you now. So I just uploaded a video when I was in Ireland and I want 
to add some text to speech to this video. So all you need to do is head over to media or audio in the left menu, then click on the text to speech button. Then you will see an interface open. You can choose a language, you can choose a voice, and you can add your text. So for example, I'm gonna add welcome to Ireland. And then we're gonna click on preview to listen to what it sounds like. Welcome to Ireland. Nice. Let's click on Eric and let's listen to what it sounds like. Welcome to Ireland. And that's it. So now we can make it a text-to-speech fragment by clicking on add to project and then it will be automatically added to the sequence. Now you can make as many text-to-speech fragments as you like and add them to your video. You can go full on creative mode here and you can even turn them into text, which you can also fully customize the way you like. You can change the font, the sizing, the color. You can add animations, whatever you prefer. This AI feature is a super easy solution if you want to create text-to-speech videos. So feel free to try it out. Welcome to Ireland. It's a beautiful country. You should definitely visit it someday. So these are four major AI features which are present in Veet's editor, but there are many more to come which are gonna be incredible. For instance, very, very soon, we're gonna have the eye contact correction feature, which basically in the recording corrects your eye movement and makes it look like you're actually looking into the lens. This makes it more personal and engaging when you record a video, but you can still look at your screen while recording. This makes it far more personal and engaging for someone who watches your video, and you never have to worry again about looking at the screen or the webcam. Like I said, this feature is coming out very soon, among a lot of others which are going to be incredible, so please stay tuned. In the meantime, you can try the amazing AI features that I just mentioned in this editor. They're absolutely amazing and they really speed up the process of your editing workflow. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. For now, have a good day and good luck.